Uh, yeah, I live in Georgia, and uh, just in response to this, my name is Wyatt Strother, I'm a, I live in Athens, and uh, in response to uh, the woman who talked about her cousin having depression in uh, England, she asked if anyone had experienced that here, and what it was like, and uh, I have, I've been, uh, I've lived in Georgia all my life, and uh, um, I'll do respect to her, and I've never experienced the Canadian and English healthcare system, I live in Georgia all my life. But she asked uh, what it was, she said, until you've uh, experienced that here, and uh, well, I would just like to tell what it was like here. I was diagnosed with a uh, major repressive disorder uh, two years ago after uh, trying to kill myself. And uh, I wound up in a hospital in Lawrenceville. Um, I wasn't given an option, I was forced to be there. And um, all I got out of it was a prescription uh, for medicine, which I have no way of affording because I don't have health insurance, and I was stuck with uh, $1,700 in uh, debt. And so um, she was asking uh, what it would be like, and uh, that's what it's like. For the last two years, I've lived in misery because I can't afford insurance for this uh, disease I've been diagnosed with. So I just want to share what it's actually like here. Thank you. I appreciate your time. In patient with a horrible disease, I've treated a lot of that in my career. And the thing is, people who have depression who have chronic diseases. In this country, physicians are treating folks. People can always get care in this country by going to the emergency room. The question is, and everybody has access to health care in this country, the question is, who pays for it, where do they get it, and at what cost? Going to the emergency room is the most expensive way of trying to deliver health care. And it's the least efficient. And what we need to do, my bill also reforms in TALA so that we can, can uh, have patients who are not critically ill in, in danger where their life or their pregnancy is in danger so that you can, they can go to places like Mercy Clinic. I've given a lot of my time there. My bill also helps get physicians to, to contribute their time to places like Mercy Clinic, to the health department, and other sources to give away free care so that people can be treated. Yes, sir. Next question.